Okay. Let me know if you hear me well. This is the... As soon as we step in, as I said earlier, there's Nikon. We'll be checking out that 85 1.2 lens. We have Canon, where they have some great photo bays over here. And then we have Sigma way over here, which I'll be checking out the 50 f 1.4. So let's go head over to Nikon right now. So you can see a lot of action going on at the Nikon booth. There we go. Cool, let's go slither on our way over to where the 8512 is. Oh, there's. Excuse me. Hey, Terry. Here we have Chan, Greece, in the house. How are you? <laughs> well, you know I like my Nikon. I gave him my, I gave you your lanyard last night. Here we, there we go. It's a, I'm live. So. Oh, she's who I was talking to about San Francisco last night when you walked by. Oh, right on. Yeah, yeah. San Francisco, I think we, yeah, we shared some words. Yeah. It's an interesting beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still beautiful, though. Yes. It's just, uh, when you get close, it gets a little blurry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a little distorted. Portland used to be nice too. Huh? Portland used to be nice too. <laughs> I can say the same thing about Long Island, where I'm from. Yeah. It changed dramatically. My dad, my dad's still there in, Med in Medford. Uh, in Medford. I'm sharing. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, I'll and uh, it, but I don't want to. Uh, you know, like Stepping Cemetery. If you're planning on eating it all. Like, we just oh, no, Long Island. Island. Oh, okay. We should talk louder for his life. Oh, you know Melvin. <laughs> Okay, okay, but uh, yeah, it's, it's changed the vibe, that's all, you know, but nonetheless, you got to put a smile on it. Yes. There you go. All right, let's see. Look at this. What do we got here? Oh, can you say that again? Yeah, this is the MCN10 grip for the Z9. Uh, yeah, basically awesome. I, I can control the camera from this grip, got it connected to a fluid head, I can move the focus point, I can access the you know, eye menu, the main menu, change shutter speed, aperture, ISO, exposure yeah, comp. That's uh, cool. Yeah, the thing's awesome. So I really, he said it's, it's exhausting, you said? Or, it's awesome. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, oh, oh, excuse me, okay. Oh, look at that. Let's, let's get that. Yeah. Well, that looks cinematic. I choose who it focuses on, just with the direction pad on this grip. Okay. Left or right to switch between subjects that it detects. Okay. Oh, that's cool, cool. It looks great. And what lens do you have on the other oh, 51 too? I love that lens. All right. But you know what we came here, folks. So let's get right to it. Let's. Here we go. I don't have my sound effects with me, but it would normally go doo 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 doo. No. <laughs> like Zelda. Remember old school Zelda? Oh, yeah, yeah. Find the key. <laughs> so, all right. So, what we have here. Here we go. Is the Nikon Z9 with the 85 1.2 lens. Look at this. It does look like a work of art. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Take a look. Think about all the things you could do if you had this lens. It's gorgeous. Can you give me some specs about this? Can you, 
How's it going? It's going great. So we're talking about the Nikon Z9, right? Yes. With uh, actually, so first I'm going to talk to you about the lens. This is brand new. This is an 85 millimeter. Can, can you do me a favor and just clip this on you? Yeah, sure. Like right onto the lapel. Am I good? Can you hear me okay? Yeah. All right. So this is one of the ultimate combos for this show. This is a Nikon Z9 with the new, brand new 85 millimeter f 1.2. This lens is absolutely amazing for portraits. It uh, has a beautiful flattering compression and f1.2, which just has the most gorgeous bokeh you could ever imagine. Uh, so, and this is paired currently with a Nikon Z9. This camera is a 45 megapixel, completely mirrorless camera. And when I say mirrorless, this is the uh, first camera to really completely have no shutter whatsoever. So it can shoot extremely fast because it has a very uh, fast sensor readout speed. Um, but it's also, while it's great for photos, uh, it can shoot 30, 60, 120 frames a second in uh, various resolutions. It has the most advanced autofocus system you'll find right now. Uh, humans, cats, dogs, pets, cars, planes, trains, it auto tracks them all. Exactly. Uh, so this camera is really great. It's uh, one of the best hybrid cameras on the market too. When so, is the uh, 85 set to roughly be available? Uh, this will be available later this month. And they, they can pre-order it? Uh, yes, right now you can pre-order it and if you're an MPS member you also get priority delivery. Right on. And then and compared to the 51.2, because my followers watch me shoot with the 51.2 all the time. Okay. What's the major difference between the two besides the focal length? Uh, so that is pretty much the difference. When you shoot with an 85 versus a 50, you're going to have a little bit more flattering compression. Top of that. Yes. And, and in terms of size and weight. Uh, so so this one is a little bit um, a little bit thicker than the 51.2 but okay. you know one other difference i'm sorry i forgot to mention okay. was this lens along with the knock are the only ones in the line with 11 diaphragm blades so the bouquet you're going to get out of that is going to be extremely circular dreamy and natural beautiful wow so this is like a portrait photographer delight oh this camera is absolutely amazing yeah i love the z9 but with this 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 uh to me, reminds me of when I got the DA50 with the 105-14. Another great combination. That was a combination I just loved. Yes. And then when I graduated to the uh, Z9, I was like, all right, now I need a lens to, to be on that same particular level. That 85 sounds like the one. It is the one. Wow, that's yes. amazing. That is amazing. Well, let me tell you. Uh oh. Do you mind if I, oh, can you uh, share who you are with Nikon? All right, uh, I'm Jeff. Uh, I work in Nikon's Melville offices, and I'm the uh, communications manager for Nikon. Awesome, awesome. So tell, uh, now, why does Nikon, uh, do you, like, what, why do they feel like they're involved with WPPI, helping photographers become better photographers? Why do they, what, what, how does the WPPI fit the role for Nikon in helping photographers become better? Oh, that's a great question. So I think one of the greatest parts about WPPI is it's a show that's a lot about learning and community, as well as what we have here with showing products. So, you know, I think one of the things we want to do at Nikon is we want to educate uh, our customers and customers to get the best experience out of the gear, but also make themselves great photographers. So, you know, in addition to this stage we have right here, the mentor, motivate, and inspire stage, currently the amazing Matthew Jordan Smith is up there. Uh, we have great opportunities to help inspire and educate all kinds of photographers. Uh, we also just launched this new course with Jerry Guionis, an online wedding course. Yeah, he's on So that can currently be found online at uh, NikonUSA.com slash mentors. Well, thank you very much. No problem, Robert. It. Now, I'm going to continue my touch tour and uh, touch more Nikon. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you very much. All right. Bye thank bye. you, Robert. Uh, that was awesome. All right. You guys were the first bunch. All right. Yeah, I'm not done with you, though. No. No. I'm going to go take a look at some of the, uh, right. what do you call it, swag. Yeah, yeah. What do you work? So what, what do you do, Robert? I'm a portrait work. photographer. Okay. Cool. And uh, I have a studio in Berkeley. Okay. Cool. And uh, I know Jeff and a few of the other folks All and right. Terrence because I used to work at Mike's camera. Yeah. What do you shoot with? Z9. Awesome. You know uh huh. What? I got I got some secrets back for you too. Oh. Uh, All right. You guys are hearing this. You guys are hearing this. I did not pay him. It's not sponsored. What he said. Uh, what size are you? Uh, small. All right.
Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right. And uh, if you're an NDS member, we're also doing census meetings over here for free. That's the service we give to NDS members. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm going to check out some of this and, uh, and more that Nikon has to offer. Thank you very much. No problem. Have a great day. You too. And the ambassador with us here today. Two minutes. All right, so this is the stage that everybody's talking on. Uh-oh, we got Mike in the house. Oh, my goodness. What's up? Hey, thank Welcome you. Welcome to the Nikon booth, WPPI 2023. Yes, sir. International Women's Day. We're celebrating. Hit the booth. Come down and see us. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> so we have some of the... Uh, Oh, look at this. This one's kind of, wow, look at that. You like that one, huh? Yeah. It's cute. What, 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 what do you like about it? It looks old school. Oh, you like the retro vibe and retro everything? Retro and you do everything uh, manually, yeah. I love it. Very them. cool. Yeah. And your name? Rena. Rena? What kind of photography do you do? I do brand and commercial photography. Awesome. What part of WPPI? Uh, you always learn more, explore more, meet more people, develop your craft, and you know, just become a better photographer. Awesome. And where can folks find you on Instagram? Um, you can find me at R E N A O Photo, Rena O Photo. That's what's up. Awesome. And this is the one she likes right there. That is pretty cool. Hey, you know, like, since I know that you're uh, creating content, that we actually have a giveaway for WPPI. So, what? Oh yeah, I, I, I uh, any content uh -huh. you just have to follow those pieces. Oh now. yeah, yeah, no, I got that. Yeah, no, no, I got you. Right. Yeah, Mike does. Yeah, they know. No, no, no. But I appreciate it though. All right, cool. Yeah. And uh, what? Tell me about this bay. What? What are you guys showcasing here? Oh. Oh, do you want me to go get the other gentleman that was helping me earlier? No, no, no. I want to do it in, in collaboration with my great friend oh. over here. So any questions that I can. So what we have here in the bay is a this great is display. So you, thank you. <laughs> this is a great display of our uh, CFC cameras, which are very cute. It comes in all those seven colors. So it's kind of like a fashion piece and statement, depending on your personality and like exactly what you want to take out of the world. Then we also have it with a creator's kit. So it's got a grip, it's got a microphone, it has a remote. And then we also have over here the, the C5, the C50, C50, and we have the newest release, which is the C30. It's a bloggers and content creators camera. It's great because of, <laughs> then you have like the flip out screen and you can stream with it and you can produce video content with it. Uh, so these are like our consumer friendly cameras over here, but then on the other tables, we have other things that are more advanced and more professional. We have over there, yes, you'll see like things that are great for still photography and for video as well. Awesome. Yeah. And, 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 oh, oh, hold on. And who are you at Nikon? Uh, so I work for communications. I'm part of the social media team. And then Diane is part of the marketing team. And she has great knowledge of all the technicalities of our products. Fantastic. Thank you so yeah. much. Right. <laughs> And uh, I, I, I posted a picture on Twitter, then I guess you're somebody on whoever controls Twitter, uh, Nikon USA, yes. uh, reached out, and then I had to sign all these forms from, I guess, your whoever agency or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And to retweet and all this other yes. stuff. So, yeah, I mean, we have to be like very strict. I appreciate that. that and also, like, ask for permission because totally. you don't want to, like, yeah. basically steal your content. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be, like, butthurt and Nikon uses any of my stuff, but it was really nice. I liked it. I appreciated it. So, right on. Yeah. The, oh, here's Jack. Look who's in the house. What's happening, man? Um, all right. Uh, that's a microphone. Uh, what am I doing? I would love to ask you a couple of questions. If that's possible. Sure. Absolutely. Okay, so how does this WPPI compare to last year's? Oh man, uh, a lot more people here. Uh, there's a lot more energy. You know, last year we were just coming out of pandemic, so we had a limited booth and limited occupancy of the booth. And I think the show, because people were just getting back into the show, so a lot more interaction, a lot more energy. Uh, 
We have speakers again, which is the way we used to do it. So having speakers back and getting the audience in there and the education is really what WPPI is all about, and we're loving it. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much. Now I do have to go change. Yeah. It has to say creators, but then Robert Silver so That's what I got to do. You just got to get that's it on next there. year. And you can get that shirt for your member. 100%. That's right. Uh, I think I just saw her earlier. Yeah, yep. I got to get that. Absolutely. I was thinking about that. I, 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 the next thing I'm doing is hoodies. Okay, cool. Because I'm always cold, but I don't want to cover up my logo. Right. So, brand. Yeah, yeah, it's all about branding. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the 85. I'd love to hear your opinion. Oh, man, so I haven't had a chance to really get out and shoot with the 85 yet, but I've been waiting for that lens. I've shot with it here at the booth. The bouquet is unbelievable, the way it's rendering skin tones. You know, the, the, the thing with the lens is just if it's sharp, sharp is easy. It's the bouquet, it's the transition to the blur, it's the way it treats skin tones. And that's what the optical designers have really nailed it on that. So I remember when I first started out doing portraiture, I shot the 200 F2, which I dearly love. The 105.14 came out, so I dumped the 200 F2, got the 105.14, I thought, this is it, this is the top lens. Now that I'm shooting at 85, it gives me a better working distance than I got, so I'm able to communicate a little bit better, and the bouquet is off the charts, so I love it. I love it. Yeah, when I picked it up, that separation was killer. That separation was killer. Isn't that it, nice? It like totally reminded me of the 105 experience. Yeah, it's just that beautiful blur from, you know, from in to out, it's it's like it's off the charts. So right on. Now for folks in the Bay Area, where can they go pre-order? So to pre-order in the Bay Area, there's a bunch of areas. So it depends where you want to go. There's Mike's. Okay. There's San Jose Camera. There's Looking Glass. Um, there's Action Camera, which is up. Uh, there's Fireside Camera right downtown. Um, Sammy's is gone now. So Sammy's was only doing rental, and now they just closed their rental house too. So if okay, you're, they're in the Bay Area, hit those places up. But yeah, get it in, get it pre-ordered. We're gonna start shipping them at the end of the month. So you wanna get it on order sooner rather than later. There'll probably be a backlog on those. Fantastic, thank you so much. Absolutely, man, great to see you, dude. Thank you, it's good to see you too. Thank All right. Woo! This, this starting off, I, I charged the heck out of this camera. I'm like, please last. I gotta go to you and Sigma and everybody else. So, fantastic, thank you so much. Where? I did, uh, what, with the 85? Yeah. He's got one in that shooting well, who's over there? Oh, oh, oh. So hit that up. All right, I will. Thank, thank you very much. All right, folks. They convinced me to go check out and play with the 8512. Excuse me. All right, here we go. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Very nice. No, no, it's okay. Gust of wind, which was able to catch her veil. I got down low. I was able to create this image. So again, using that veil, with that little bit of wind to feel the veil, I was able to draw, again, Now here as well, at a wedding reception, uh, using the candles. Right now, right now, we're watching people uh, at the Nikon Photo Bay. 
using their own cameras, and Nikon set this all up. And you can, I believe, even try out the 8512 here, maybe. I'd like to try to get a shot, but it looks pretty busy. And Paul is busy cracking, getting folks moving, keeping them moving. If you have any questions, make sure you post down below. So after a photo of the background, work my place with friends, talk to the draw the borders away. From there, I'll think about is there an opportunity? Go. Make sure if you have any comments, post them. Definitely glad to answer any questions you may have. All right, let's come back. Let's go check out Sigma. Uh, here as well in Calgary. So, um, you know, as we're walking down the pathway, there was this little opening. Again, where can I place Excuse my clients on the side? So I was able to find this here. Uh, and then use some of the reference to the All right, let's go head on over to Sigma. Again, here we have the big, here's Mike again. There you go. Oh, no, I won't do that, sir. No, you were looking good in the gym. You were looking good in the gym. I saw that. Were you looking at me? I was looking at I was. I, I squeezed in. I said, wow, look at that. that. No. Anyway, have a great day. Look at it. Is it? Ooh, wow. I was like, I hope, at least after the second date. No. <laughs> yeah, we're just going, you know, I'm just, go, just going live. And what I like I about. this morning was good. I'm glad I went. Which one? The lighting one. John's, right? Yeah, 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 you saw my mug up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he's like, Robert, get on up there. No, oh, shit. It was very cool. I love, uh, his work is great. Oh, that was good. I learned some Did you check him out on it? On, um, on um, uh, uh, on Instagram, this page, stuff like that. You want to talk about your school? Yeah. Awesome. All right. Bump into fellow. Okay. So please introduce yourself and what school in your school. Okay. Go for it. My name is Eric Miseroy. Everybody calls me Mizzy. I'm from LA. I'm at a school called Port of LA High School. It's in San Pedro. It's an independent charter. Um, I teach photography. We are the uh, one of the only schools that's uh, supported by Nikon in the country. Um, and I'm here checking stuff out, learning stuff, and going to pass it on to my students. And that's the plan. Awesome. And is this your first time at WPPI? My first time. I got the, I got the black. Uh, Oh, that's what that, the, that's yeah, what that's that what means. that means. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got that First, one Yeah, too. you got that one too. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. now, do you? How beneficial has your visit here been from a photography perspective? It's been great because I'm I'm talking to a lot of pros, I'm ta talking to a lot of guys that know way more than I do about specific things, and all that stuff. I've just been taking notes, and and it's going to add to my curriculum, which means the, the students that come out of my program are just going to be better photographers. I'm also checking out products. And I've hooked up with a couple of companies that are going to support me. <laughs> Sorry about that. My butt. No worries, no worries about it. Yeah, uh, I've talked to a couple of companies that are going to su support our program and uh, give back to the students. So it's been all good. It's been all good. And uh, what camera do you have with you? Today I've got my Z9 with the 51 II. Beautiful. Yeah, I've got a 2470 in the bag and I got a 105. Why do you have the 50 attached? Actually, because of how tight it is here. Um, there's not a lot of not a lot of space to move around. So when we're shooting with some of the uh, models with the different lighting setups, 50 is perfect. And with the Z9, if I'm a little farther, that's okay because I can just prop in and post easy peasy. It's Beautiful. fantastic. Beautiful. So now to uh, anyone that has come yet, do you recommend them coming to WPPI? I'm, I'm going to tell you, I go to. I go to a few conferences every year for different educational things. Being a lifetime educator, the sessions are on point. 
They're done by pros professionally. Uh, what you come away with is, is really what you want to learn. So for me, I've gone to a couple of sessions. Um, this morning, the one on lighting was fantastic. And it's, if you want to get better at your craft, you got to come here. It's not really about wedding photography if you just want to learn about, about getting better at your craft, honestly. You know. right, so we're here at the Nikon area, yeah. right? So let's get let's let's get to the root of the matter here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you here at the Nikon area? Is there a piece of gear that you have to touch? <laughs> the 85 1.2. That's what I knew it. I knew it. I got mine on pre-order, but the, okay. 80, the 85 is going to probably replace my 105. It's lighter. It's the same size. Um, I prefer the 85 as far as when I'm shooting portraits. I like that distance from my, my, my subject, um, but that I wanted to come check that out. So it's right, they got a couple of them over there on the table with the Z9s, um, and they really have everything that any, any proper lens you want to look at. You can get a touchy-feely going on, and it's, it's really, really very, very good. It's very good. Yeah. And Nikon's the best, let's be honest. It's all about the glass, and Nikon is the master. Yeah, I'm going to some comments now. It's all, hey. It is what it is, but it's all about glass, and Nikon is Where can the they glass. find your school on Instagram? So, Port of LA High School, it's uh, Polis, um, and then our studio is called Pixels. So, Polis Pixels, look us up on Instagram, and uh, we're, 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 we're a cool, cool spot. It's awesome. really good. And, and thank you so much for your time. Right on, man. Cheers. Thank you. And uh, thank you so much. And for the drinks, I owe you drinks. No. Uh, I, 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 I right on. I didn't talk too much. I, I, the drinking, uh, yeah, I get that. I, I was having a good time. That's all. She goes, "What are you doing?" And I just got back in. She goes, "What are you doing?" And I go, "I hooked up with this dude from San Francisco." But da da da. And she goes, "We're talking to you." I'm like, "Actually, actually, no." Well, no, but we had a great conversation. She goes, oh, "I'm glad I didn't go because I would have just killed you." <laughs> No, I had a good time. I had a really. I, I love to talk. Oh, okay. Oh, Damn. Wow. So we we'd get in trouble if they didn't close oh, down. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go walk yeah, around. Thank thing? you so much. Yeah, sure. And then we'll, we'll hook up later. For sure. Go, oh, yeah. We got a lot to talk about. Yeah, do. Uh oh. Don't tell your wife. No. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. So let's continue our touch tour. Here is Cannon. Check these guys out. Got to show some love, even though I don't shoot with Canon. It's all good. Look at all this. Camera, gears, gears, and camera. Look at all that. Excuse me, sorry. That, uh, talk about the eye focus or the face attack. Yeah, look at that. Uh oh, here we go. Not kind of, uh, no, there's a Canon ambassador, excuse me. A lot of good. Oh, look, he here. Faces are. I can shoot this at two point eight, no problem. How are you? How, how, how are you? How are you uh, enjoying it? I'm doing it, man. I'm loving it. This yeah. This is my first year here, but I'm guaranteed to come back. Do you recommend others to come on down? I do. 
I do. Was there a class you really liked? Uh, I, that one this morning out of ten. Oh, John Grease's. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like to uh, check that Jerry Pionis. Oh, he was next you saw it last. Yeah, I know. See, they did everything. I, that's the only thing they planned everything at the same time. Yeah. All the good ones. Yeah, right. In the morning, yeah, all the same time. I think I think maybe it's because they the vendors opened at ten, so they were like, maybe they didn't want to conflict. That makes sense. Get your ass in here. Yeah. You know? So, so where can they find you on Instagram? Uh oh. Good lord, you need to sit down. Or something? S U M M O R R E photography. Some more photography. That's what's up. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Sometimes you just have to do that, right? All right. Beautiful. How are you? Just being nosy, sticking my camera in people's face. No, I'm. I'm just going. I'm live on my YouTube channel, so I'm just check it out. What What do we have here? What's this? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, go for it. Sorry. Dual fish eye lens. Right image and the uh, image of right eye and the left eye. What? Wow! Look at that. That's nuts. And that's what this video. Oh, that's that's that there. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh, they can't see it. Oh yeah, you can. Look at this. Like right here? Okay. Uh, now she has a really tiny face, but when we see this, wow, wow, only one person. So the way I see it is different than how you see it, then, right? Okay. So these are some of the things you're looking for. That is. Look at your subject. Look at the size of their face. Oh my. Look at the height. How are you going to make these people look back together? That's your entire job. Uh, to make people look you can't see this too well, but I'm telling you the experience is crazy. This is the future right here. There's like AI and everything, right? That is nuts. You got to stand right there. You got to stand right there. You got to stand. Let me just see his, ex I got to see his expression. Yeah. Let, let me see that. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow, that's nuts. Okay, so for... If I was a, providing the service for a client, would I I'd deliver it as a video? How would I deliver it? What media? Oh, really? And get the same experience? Wow, that's great. Let me make sure we hear you. Okay. You can hold it. It's up to you. Okay. However you want. Okay, go for it. So mainly we we are uh, you you can you can get uh, three ways to see the three, 3D content. The first one is this display, and the second one is the uh, headset like this. Headset headset is the most uh, yeah affordable way I believe. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Does that require a special screen, a, a special monitor? Yes. Uh, this is not for consumer, but uh, you can get similar display. Uh, how can I say? In, in beyond age. That so, is nuts. Is that is that is that available already to purchase? Yes, yes, yes. Take a look. The lens is uh, official uh, lens costs uh, out uh, two two thousand dollars for, for this. For this, yes. Wow, that's so cool. And the camera, yeah, R5 is cost uh, thirty-four hundred dollars. So about fifty-five hundred for the yeah. whole package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That is awesome. That is fun. But wow! Sorry. It's like a, it please ask. Like please ask him to yeah, make a song. Sorry. Do you have a chance to uh, do a quick survey? I can give you the sticker for the for your gift. Sure. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
Uh, can I have the microphone, please? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. So sorry. Anyway. It's all right. All right, I'm going to sign a quick survey because I like supporting people. Wow, this is awesome. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Put down the that's, that's a button pusher. Okay? So I need you guys communicate it. So, beautiful. Lean forward. Turn your face just a little, shall we? You're going to turn your face back this way. Okay, just a little bit. You got it. Eyes on me. Squeeze it together. And turn both noses to me a little bit more. Yes. Perfect. And then we can just prop this in. Make it a little horizontal. Squeeze together. Squeeze, squeeze. You see a plan where VR can Right? People start to squeeze together. Something really magical happens when you squeeze at people. You should all try it, everyone. Here you go. Thank you so much. No worries. Thank you. Come on, you sir. Oh, cool. Swag. You got to do something to cover up that Nikon next time. Oh, shit. I, I, I spread the love is what I did. Absolutely. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. All right, so I got some swag and such small hands, so I gotta put this stuff away, and uh, then we can get to the power. Let's have a glass together. Yes, thank you. You're famous though. Oh Jesus! <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead, put this madness away. We can find it. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Please, please, a moment of your time. We have the legendary Matthew Jordan Smith, Nikon ambassador. Yes, Nikon ambassador and internationally known because he's in Japan a lot. So there you go. That's Robert really Silver, I met you in uh, uh, at Photo Plus Expo, but I follow you regularly uh, on Instagram, Robert Silver Photography. But it's great to see your work, and I'd, I'd love to see you right up there with Gordon Parks. I'm trying to be like that. Hey, I'm hey. To get, man, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to be able to spell boarding, let alone be here. <laughs> anyway, have a good one. Likewise. Take care, folks. Bye bye. All right, let's head on over finally. Get the signal. Okay. Walking through. And in case you're wondering, I am using my iPhone 14 with the DJI O5. And uh, there's the Nikon. And then let's let's check out. Whoops, there we go. There we go. We got the Canon. And uh, with that VR, that VR was crazy. It was pretty awesome. And uh, quite honestly, I thought I was already thinking about possibilities on how I could incorporate that into my business. But as I said, remember I, I mentioned this before, I mentioned that VR will be, uh, I mean not VR, AI is gonna be slowly being integrated into our photography, technically it already has, but more so than ever. So get hit with the program, come to conferences like this so that you can learn what's cutting edge and how you can incorporate that not only into your, your, uh, your work, your creative work, your workflow, and then overall your business, okay? Um, now, let's, whoop. Uh, there we go. Cool. Let's head on over to, there we go. Sigma. As you all know, I love me some good old Sigma, okay? The best, the, I, I love using their glass, the art lenses, and some of their contemporary stuff. I don't have the, too much contemporary lenses, but I do love their art lenses. So let's go on over here, check them out. All right. Okay, let's, let's see this. Look at all this glass, 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 glass. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Good. Is it possible for me to check out the 5014 DVDN L mount?
My name's Robert, by the way. Maybe the shirt gave it away, or, <laughs> yeah, or the tag, or the... <laughs> Here we go. Let me get my microphone right, because this thing's weighing me down. All right, everybody, here we go. You already saw me post a story on this. Look at this gorgeous piece of lens right here. Oh, the weight is fantastic. It's actually lighter than the 35 mil F1.4, which, which is quite amazing. Uh, the lens I tend to use has been the 51.4 Lumix lens, but the weight of this is amazing. Let's hold on. Let me show you right here. Awesome. Take a look. Right there. You have the autofocus manual focus switch right there. You can switch your aperture. I always love this feature. Some people don't, but I actually like the textile feel and the click of this aperture nice clean design and then of course there's the glass right there look at that baby now this has a I believe a, I want to say it's uh, I'm gonna say 72 filter thread 72 um, uh, not, set, not centimeters but a 72 filter thread that's what I know for sure take a look at right there this does come L mount and Sony E mount it's available for pre-order right now and uh, this is a glass I'm going to have to say you must get if you need a prime 50 this lens right here is phenomenal and the price is ridiculous matter of fact let me see if it shows the price right here they have an expo price and I uh, don't see it here. Excuse me. What 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 is the uh, what is the um, MSRP of the 514? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was 849 for Sony and Leica L mount. Yeah, 849 for Sony Leica. Sorry, Leica L mount and Sony E mount. Awesome. And um, when is it set to release? Or? So it released uh, about two weeks ago. So it is oh, available. It is available. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Everywhere. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And 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 and, and uh, with that said, who do you recommend this kind of a lens for? I mean, 50 mm is a standard focal length for a lot of different types of photography. Um, a lot of people. This is a 1.4. A lot of people like like it for portraiture, but it can be really used for street, landscape, travel. It's really an all-around focal length for multiple things. So whatever you kind of suit your type of photography, you can use a 54. So it's really not a specialized for any type of photography because everyone, most people start off with a 50 anyway. So it's an upgrade of the standard nifty 50, but with high quality optics, high quality glass, high quality, pretty much everything. So, yeah. And uh, this, it, it, I just want to double check because I, I want, I didn't want to misquote people. What is the filter? Oh, it's 72. The same as yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go, folks. Mm -hmm. There I am. Blind as a bat, but there you go. You can see it, 72. This feels fantastic. It feels much lighter than the 35. It is, yeah. It's, 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 they're about similar, a little is bit. It? It's about 20 grams lighter or oh. similar. Oh. Yeah, it just feels fantastic. I, I love the weight of it. It's amazing. Can we see this on the uh, Lumix camera down there? Of course. Uh, so yeah, this is a L mount. Can we attach it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, this joint doesn't make good. All right, cool. Got the L mount. I'm happy with that. Thank you. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what it looks like on a Lumix camera. Yeah, exactly. And because uh, you know, this is how I'm going to shoot it anyway. Look at this. Sony users, I'm telling you, this is the lens right here. I like a user. Huh? Like a user. Like a user like too, you know? Yeah, for all you heart surgeons out there, <laughs> you know? Get SO1, SO2. For all two of you. <laughs> uh, but this right here, this is beautiful. Love it. All right, let's see what it feels like. Because it is called a touch tour, so I have to touch this. All right. Wow, it's really nice and compact. Ironically, it's not that much bigger than the 20 to 60 millimeter kit lens, which I think comes about here, roughly, before you extend it. And, um, but this is definitely a lens I would recommend you getting if you have a few more bucks than getting a 
this has got to be the next lens. If you're looking for faster, um, being able to uh, uh, stop, uh, open up to 1.4 and having more light enter into your camera, and you're not sacrificing on size and weight, okay? Um, do you happen to have a cell phone on you? A cell phone? I just wanna show them, I wanna show them, yeah, exactly, oh, well, I'm sorry. Congrats, whatever that was. <laughs> so look, look at this, there you go. And which iPhone is this one? iPhone 12. iPhone 12, okay? Look at the size of that in relation to the iPhone. That's why this kind of a lens should, it needs to be in your bag. It's not even should, it, it needs to be in your bag. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That is gorgeous. Now, may I take a look at the 20 f1.4? Okay, now I'm gonna look at the 20 millimeter f1.4 because for filmmaking, this focal length is exactly what I need. And uh, as you know, I will be getting this. This and this together, you can make any film project with these two. Oh, that's a 60, that's a 62, huh? Oh, oh, 82, copy that, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, not, that's not bad at all. Take a look, roughly about the same size. And ironically, pretty darn light still, wow. I have a, a Nikon 14 to 24 f 2.8, and that thing is, it's a beast. In, it's a beast. This is gorgeous. Oh, oh, gotcha. You hear that, folks? That's why you want the DGDN version, uh, because you're going to be able to enjoy photography again. Okay. Yeah. This is this is really really nice. Now, when you when you see this lens, what kind of style of photography do you see? with that architecture interior shots. oh wait hold on I'm so sorry I'm so sorry <laughs> um, you're looking about architecture interior um, a lot of people get it for astro as well because it's a nice wide angle and also with the 1.4 aperture it allows it a lot of light so people who are doing astro that's the main user who people go with 20 millimeter but architecture landscape anything that's like you want to capture the scene and get it more of a encompassing of the scene more the 20 millimeter is good for that so awesome. And what is the uh, MSRP? I believe it's. I don't want to say anything without. Let me double check. Yeah. I mean, it's $8.99. $8.99. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you need stuff under $900. We try. Yeah, right? That is our. You know, fantastic lenses that happen to be cheaper than the other, other brands. <laughs> All right, can you attach this one to, to the camera, please? All right, let's see what it looks like on the Lumix S5 Mark II. He took off the 50, one four, and then here's a 20. These are my two next lenses right here. I want something that's fast, compact, gives me tons of light to work with for my filmmaking. The 20, the 20 is the new standard 24 millimeter. That's, as soon as you go 20 millimeter, as soon as you go 20 millimeter, you can't go back. You love that extra space. That extra space matters. And uh, that's why a lens like this is going to be in my back, folks, right there. Okay. Again, uh, matter of fact, uh, take, keep that on. I just want some folks to see, like, yeah, yeah. So, if I could freaking, there we go. Okay. So, 50 and a 20. Okay, look at that. You know how comfortably both of those are going to fit in your camera bag? Here's a top view. Wow. Way to go, Sigma. Way to go. Being able to keep so many primes roughly at the same size does matter. Because when I was packing to come here, I was in trouble. Okay? So this is awesome. I would have just came with these two. That would have been fine. That would have been it right there. All right, well, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Of course. You're welcome. Take a look at some more Sigma lenses. Okay. Um,
Tell us where to make a follow Sigma on Instagram. Absolutely. At, uh, at Sigma Photo. Where? Sigma Photo. Awesome. Make sure you go ahead and follow. I'll have their link down below. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. I hope I hope you are authorized to be. It just kind of worked out that way. So I do apologize. Yeah, yeah. I was. I hope I didn't get him in trouble or anything like that. Okay, anyway. Oh, okay. Right off. Not be involved in any on-camera duties. Oh, oh, right off. No, it he, he he answered the question. You know, and uh, I wanted to show people the two lenses I'm going to be getting and why, especially the 50. So that. Uh, that one's definitely going to be on there, but the 20 is so fantastic. The contemporary line. I'd love to talk about the contemporary line and why Sigma went that route. Is that possible? Well, I, I, I do work for Panasonic, so I would be from an L-Mount perspective. And I do have followers that buy Lumix. So it wouldn't hurt, but in general, because as, oh, they, they, I believe this young lady gave me one yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I, I posted it on, on the story. I was, uh, um, reason why is because you have the art series, right? Very synonymous, very infamous from quality, top tier lens. But the, when you came out with the contemporary, like my first one was the 45 one, uh, 2.8. I was like, wow, I love the look of this. But what was what was what was the thinking behind the contemporary line? That's that's what I was curious. Is that possible? Oh, are you interviewing me now? Is that just the answer? Oh, I've been, I'm live. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Robert. I wasn't aware. No, I'm live. The whole yeah, we're not done until my battery goes dead. All right. Well, in that case, I'll tell you all about contemporary lenses. Yeah, so I'd love to hear. About originally, the uh, contemporary was conceived along with the art line and the sports line. And those were introduced back in 2012, 2013. Um, so we've always had contemporary uh, in the last decade. And the reason for the contemporary lenses is to give people something that's a little bit more affordable. If you don't need all the heavy duty weather sealing and all that, if you still want to have some high quality imagery, you can get that out of the contemporary line. Um, also, balance is really important for contemporary lenses. So while an art series lens might be a little bit heavier, might be really geared towards super high image quality, um, really wide apertures, maybe you don't need to have that kind of light gathering capability. Maybe you don't need all that. Maybe you want something that's a little lighter weight and easier to travel with. And that's where the contemporary line comes in. So it's more affordable, it's more balanced, and uh, overall, is really good to have as an everyday lens. I'm saying an everyday lens. We have a whole line of contemporary lenses and uh, more recently Sigma introduced the i-series which is like a subset of contemporary and i-series lenses and I'll show you right now i-series lenses are all metal all right so this is an unfinished version uh, it hasn't been anodized but this is how you can get it. This is all machined aluminum. So it, uh, it looks really, really nice like this. I hope we make them like this someday. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. But I-series lenses, yeah. I-series lenses are intended to be uh, kind of, not a status symbol, but something just nice to look at, something nice to put on your camera, as well as having all of the quality that you're used to. So this 20 millimeter F2, for example, um, this is made for mirrorless. It's nice and compact. It's all metal build. It has a clickable aperture ring on here, and it just looks gorgeous. Right? I mean, the iSeries lenses are gorgeous. Um, all primes at this point. We don't have any uh, iSeries zooms. And one thing about these lenses is you just want to get them in your hands. And once you have them on your camera, you kind of get hooked on them. And this 20, this 20, for example, uh, we had one of our astrophotographers take this out. And even though it's an F2, like most astrophotographers will start at a 1.8 or a 1.4, just because this had such good performance at the corners, he was like, wow, I can't believe the kind of uh, performance that I get out of this lens. Um, and it's affordable. It's relatively small. This is like a great little backpacking everyday lens. And something like this that's really wide, a 20 millimeter, would be great for video work. So you can pop this in, on your uh, on your camera and get lots of vlog material. It's a hell of a lens.
Yeah, and the I series overall are just great little crimes. So I, I encourage everybody out there to at least give them a try. You know, it may not be as fast as the uh, art crimes, but sometimes you don't need all that uh, those huge apertures. And bringing something smaller, more compact, more lightweight, and you save yourself bucks too, might be the way to go. Well, thank you very much for that explanation. Hey, you're very welcome. Yeah, the impromptu interview. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was like, until the battery's done, I'm not done today. So. Nice. But nonetheless, thank you so much. And um, uh, is there anything else I should share about in terms of signal? Uh, we talked well, about the 50. We talked, the 50 right? Yeah, we talked about the 21.4. We talked about the, this version, which I was contemplating between the two. I know you're and, probably not a, you're not a big um, telephone zoom shooter, right? But we do have a 60 to 600 that was just introduced. Well, let's take a look at it. This is not about me, this is about the viewers. Oh, uh, you know what? I may have to. Yep, that's all right. No that. problem. I'll just put this back on. All right, so this is the 60 to 600 DGDN OS uh, sports lens. And this was released just a couple months ago. And obviously, it has a 10 times zoom. This is the only 10 times zoom lens uh, that is made for full frame mirrorless cameras. Right now, it is available for Sony E mount and L mount. And um, obviously, 600 millimeters is plenty of range for most applications. But if you have an L mount camera, like uh, Robert, I know you do, you can get a 1.4 or a 2 times teleconverter and you get 1,200 millimeters of range and you get full autofocus. So if you are really steady, or if you get a monopod or a tripod, 1,200 millimeters is possible with this lens. That said, we also introduced two new things with this, uh, with this lens. We redid the optical stabilization algorithm and now you get up to seven stops of stabilization at the wide end, so at 60 millimeters, and six stops at the uh, telephoto end. So you can shoot with this handheld all day long. I mean, it is a little bit weighty. It is a 10 times zoom. Um, but you can shoot with it handheld, and you can capture birds far away. You can you know, go after wildlife. It is, And the way it locks in, once you, once you half press that shutter button, it just like locks in. We've had people who shoot with uh, long telephotos for years, try this for years, try this lens, and as soon as they engage that stabilization, their jaws hit the floor. They can't believe it. It's almost like cheating. It's really that that impressive. Um, and then the other thing on this on this lens that we introduced, which is also incorporated in the new 50, was the uh, HLA high response linear actuator motor. So it's a little, little bit of a mouthful, but basically it's a linear autofocus motor and uh, it gives it enough speed and grunt so that you can move those big elements back and forth and get really fast, really smooth with autofocus. So those are the two big things. Um, but I mean, apart from that, it's just the range that really is what this lens is all about. Some people like having that analog. I've heard, thank you for grapevine, something about it. 70 to 200. Through the grapevine, I mean, I know people have been asking about that for years. Uh, 70 to 200. You've got to imagine they're working on it, right? I mean, it's just a 70 to 200 is one of those staples that every professional photographer probably at least tries, and a lot of them have that in their bag. So maybe someday, uh, but we don't know anything about a 70 to 200 yet. You just Next gotta imagine that. I have to talk about it or something. No, I wish I had news for you, but I don't. Uh, all right, all no, right. No. Work. Believe me, I, I see all the socials, and that's usually the number one or number two question. But gotcha. Um, gotcha. I sure hope it happens soon. Um, I'm a Sony shooter myself, so I would love to have one. Uh, but until that time, uh, you can't adapt the old one, or just grab something like uh, the 100 to 400 that we make. Uh, DGDN, and that is a really great, uh, lightweight, very inexpensive lens that gives great performance. It's actually my personal favorite lens um, for going out and uh, when I go on hikes or whether I'm shooting sports at my kids' uh, games. It's just a perfect lightweight companion when you want some telephoto range. So, 70 to 200, hopefully someday, not yet. Yeah, I will. All right, well, thank you, Sigma. Thank you, everybody here. Uh, and I really appreciate the info and the microphone. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. I love this polo, too. Yeah, you guys got uh, the black and white. 
All right, so there we go. Go ahead and drool and press that like button. And go ahead and follow Sigma at Sigma Photo on Instagram. Thank you, guys. All right. Let's go over to another booth. I still have more battery left. Who would have thought? Let's go ahead. There we go. There's Sigma and all its glory. Let's go on over to, oh, we got Sigma Techs doing their thing, being Techs. There's Abraham right there doing his thing. And uh, I want to check out Fotex, quite honestly. Let's go ahead, check out Fotex. And uh, here we go. Uh-oh. Is this Fotex right here? Yeah. All right. Where in the world is Lawrence? He's, he's with somebody else out talking. He's out there talking to somebody. All right. Well, I told him I'd come by today and talk about some of the uh, some of your soft boxes and the inner the inner part of the technology and everything. Oh, you're Ellen Chrome. Yes, I am. Yeah. Are you working this booth too? No, no. I'm just like, talking to my. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Oh, I'm it's so okay. sorry. I'm, my booth's right here. Oh, 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 oh. John Grease gave an awesome presentation yeah, yeah. today. I'll be here today again. Today at what two time? Oh, two o'clock. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to. I'm here. gonna have to bring bring that live to my people too. Please this will be great. Yeah. Okay, I will. Yeah. yeah, John is phenomenal. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. yeah. He took a few pictures of my ugly mug. Oh, oh Lord! Yes. See, this is why I was. I was. I was I'm trying to. for you. Yes. Look at this guy, and he's got a cool, look at that hoodie too. It's Fotex. You guys know I use Fotex a lot in the studio. And here we are looking at their new soft boxes right here. Look at that, the, the dome. And there's something unique about these soft boxes that uh, has got me thinking I need to update all my soft boxes now. Okay. Uh, is, um, do you want to talk to about the. The inside, or you want to have Mike do it? Michael, Michael. Michael? Okay. Is he? Okay. Look at the lighting from those soft boxes right here. Looks really nice. And then a lot of new soft boxes are coming with the capsule you can see right here. This is the 65. As many of you know, I use the Raja 65 in the studio for headshots a lot. This is a new version. The way they open, okay, is new. It is not like the old version. There's a few key components. I'm going to share that in a moment with someone at Fotex when he comes on by, okay? This is their new capsule line right here, okay? And they've had an easy setup, but they have a new version now. It's even newer, and I'm telling you, it's really, really cool. Because this new version has a magnetic gel filter system inside. That's right, right here, inside. And uh, in a minute, I'm going to show you guys. Well, at least I'll have somebody show us how it works. Oh, look at this cool softbox right here. Look at this cool softbox right here. Look at that size. Now that, oh my, I just want that size. That's perfect for hair light. That is perfect for hair light. It's so compact. I like this. Ooh, big old tube right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. But most importantly, is this soft box right there. So cool. Yeah, that is so cool. And it compact. This one is collapsible too. You can, this will collapse and it'll look like this when it's done. So you can easily carry it, store it. You don't have to hang it on your wall. You can put it on a shelf somewhere. So that's what I liked about it. And uh, again, here's an example of a photo with the L I think it was L uh, LED light using the capsules. Has nice soft lighting on the highlights. Yeah, it looks really good. It looks really good. And who, who can, oh, you know what? Uh, if you're in the Bay Area, you can go to Mike's camera, they carry Fotex. Um, who else carries Fotex? Does uh, I know for sure Mike's camera does. Oh, 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 um, um, 
Uh, Looking Glass. Looking Glass does, I believe. Okay. This one's a 60 by 90. Now, here's the thing. I don't, I don't want to uh, be misquoted, but that acts as an umbrella. So you're getting more direction of light coming from that softbox when you're using this attachment. Okay. And all these diffusions and the magnetic system all come included when you take a look at their softbox. Okay? It can be a beauty dish, a softbox, it comes with a grid, which I always like about all the photexes, they come with grids. And then you have the lantern, which I showed you earlier, right up top. Okay? There's the lantern. And then you have the umbrella right there. Bam! And of course, don't you forget it, the magnetic gel system. And that's what's really cool about it. That's what I like the most. Okay, and that's what I want to honestly flyers check out. On the yeah. Any uh, flyer material? Uh, flyer. Yeah. Is that is that it? Oh, maybe not. That's somebody else's. Oh, that's the magnetic system right there. Look at that. That's the magnetic system. It's really cool. Their, their soft boxes are uh, pretty cool. That's what I like about it. They're looking for a flyer. Yeah, I'm looking for a flyer on it. Yeah. I bet. Well, unfortunately, I don't see a flyer, but uh, it is all over their their everything, yeah, I'm, social I'm very media, etc. Yeah. Their Raja line. Yeah. This line looks pretty You're impressive. You're missing something? Huh? You're missing something? No, I, I'm just looking for like a flyer, like a, a sales brochure. Yeah, it comes with everything. That's okay. It comes I, with I, all I'm that. I'm familiar with voting, so I know it's pretty awesome, line. especially this part. Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for. Uh, there's a. A gentleman, but he he broke it down and showed like how it, it internally. You you use their old ones? Oh, okay, so the old ones were pretty awesome, but they improved it. And internally, right here, it's magnetic. So all you gotta do is stick. See this right here? See that right there? So this right here? Yeah, yeah. He, he's gonna open it up. It's really awesome. I don't work for that. I'm just. Really, I really dig it. I really dig it. Take a look, everyone. This this is what goes inside the soft box. Okay, no more taping your gels to the side. No more taping. Look at this. Boom. He opens it up. All you do is press down. Okay, nice clean inside surface. And then this bad boy magnet. Look at that. In two seconds, ready to go. If you don't want it, you look, boom, change the, change the gel. No more melting my gels. That is awesome. Yes. Sorry about that. That's my clumsiness. How awesome is that? That is so quick. And oh, it's nice and thick too. This is, this is, yeah, I like this. So it could be a beauty dish. Oh, hey Mike, hey. go ahead, brother. I just, I'm remembering what you told me yesterday. <laughs> I was like, look, you got a beauty dish. You can have your colored gels here. Again, you can grid it, really focus the light. Softbox. This thing is, it's a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, it's a five in one box. So, like you said, it's going to have a gel holder. Can you, can you put this on you? I'm yeah. sorry. Sure. Sorry, everybody. If I'm... Here, I'll just hold it. So, uh, you have the magnetic gel holder right here. You, it comes with five gels. And the gels just slide in right there, and those are gonna be magnetic as well. Wow. Um, here you see these attachments. These are gonna be for an inner diffuser uh -huh. or a beauty dish. Um, the inner diffuser is gonna stop it down by about one stop, oh. and then the beauty dish is gonna block any direct light going into the model. Um, with this, you can put an outer diffuser as well as a grid. We all boxes. Um, we have a rectangular one, and the umbrella comes to fit that. And is that's that, is that what's at the top? yeah. So that's what we're looking at here. That's the rectangular one. You can see. Especially on this one, it doesn't look like a regular umbrella, but it okay. functions just like one. Um, it has the standard push pull uh, system for an umbrella, and then what that's going to do is going to let. It's not only going to diffuse the light, but it's going to let the light spread in about 180 degrees of directions and a little bit back actually, and that's going to uh, just give you a really nice uh, soft image, fill in any lines um, <laughs> that you might not want, or it'll accentuate whatever you do want. So it's just a very very useful box. This is, this is awesome. Yeah. I really love how you improved 
the quick open easy feature yeah. from the first version. Exactly. Okay. What was the concept? Why did they come up with this version compared to the previous version? Yeah, I think the idea behind it is for the setup, save time. The faster you can set up a box, the uh, you know the more the more time you're going to have on set. And then at the end of the day, for teardown, the faster you can tear down the box and go home. Uh, that's always going to be a plus. Um, we came up with the five-in-one concept, so that way photographers don't have to carry you know five different boxes or a bunch of different options. Everything comes with it, um, from the gel holder all the way up to the dome, and it all fits into a very nice carry bag that's not much bigger than the box that's folded up. Um, so I can show you really quick how easy it is to oh, yeah. set up and tear down. Yeah, absolutely. Give me that bag. <laughs> so the tear down process. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah. The entire tear down, so you know, five, ten seconds, you're fully torn down, and then if you want to open it up. Oh my God, I love it. Like I was saying, speed, uh, on set, you're ready to go in you know, five, ten seconds. It's Bowen's mount. You can swap out. Uh, we have Pro Photo, Ellen Pro, and Ballpark speed ring, so you can swap those out. Uh huh. These can go on to pretty much any line. And what's included with each softbox? So with every softbox, you get um, obviously you get the Bowen's mount. You get the gel holder, the gels, inner diffuser, the uh, beauty dish, outer diffuser, a grid, and then an umbrella that turns it into a lantern if you want to use it that way. Damn. And the box, obviously. Does it come with a smile? There you go. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Thank you very much. Also, uh, and, and um, real Where can they find more about Fotex on Instagram? On Instagram? Yes. Um, yeah, so we have uh, at Fotix, and we also have at Fotix US. Um, and then we also have our website, FotixUS.com. Awesome. So, Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, of course. Thanks for your time. Fantastic. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> like a, trying to be like a professional interviewer. <laughs> it's on my YouTube. I'm streaming to my YouTube channel. So, Robert Silver Photography. Do you have YouTube? Oh, uh, just um, it's. Let me see if you scan it. It might have my info there. I think so. I'm not sure how that whole thing works. Yeah. Oh no. No. Okay. But it's. Oh my God! That's what I'm talking about. Size is good. Uh, I need a smaller, small. You have a medium or anything or no? A medium? M. Oh, hold on. This is your side. I look. Uh. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Like uh, M size. Yeah, M size. Okay. All right, thank you, thank you. No, it's okay. I think it's good because it's uh, not really exhale. Okay. Because it's no. a Asian size. I never, if someone is nice enough to give me a gift, I always take it and I appreciate it. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're Thank you. Here, let me, let me, it, okay. Yeah, show, show us. There we go. Botech, I love this sweater he's got. Thank you so much. Thank you. And um, for sure, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up getting one. Yes, this sorry. is amazing. Yes. The technology is very good. Maybe, uh, Michael will send you one. Yeah, try. Oh! Yeah. I don't know send me one to try? Yeah. For YouTube? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, let me, when he's done, I'll get his information. Yeah. Uh, many videos that I can share in the mobile. Yeah, I want me to email it to you. Remember, I have your uh, you give me your card, yeah, I'll send you this video. Okay, you know what I mean? It's on YouTube, it'll be on YouTube, and then I, I, I can send you the video, a copy. Yeah, yeah, I, I for sure will.
I'll send you the I'll send I'll send you when we open it up and everything. Does that make sense? You don't need the two hour video. I apologize. Uh you can send, send, oh yeah, you do. Okay. Send me a quick email because I would like to do a review on one of them. And you send you send me one and then uh, we'll get it going. Thank you. Yeah. All right, set, set, I, I, I hope to hear from you within a week or something like that. All right? Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day, okay? All right, let's pick up. All right, let's get going. All right, I just had to readjust the mic. Okay. Let's go ahead. Hello, how are you? Excuse me. Oh, shit, sorry. That was a tight squeeze right there. All right, let's see where we're gonna go now. Uh, I believe, oh, we have to stop by Lumix. Let's see if we can get to Lumix. I know one of my fellow colleagues is here. And, uh, oh, look at Neewer. Neewer has their booth. Then uh, I've already been on for about an hour and a half. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Here we go. Bay Area's in the house. <laughs> so, what, 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 you know what? Hold on. Dan. Yeah. What were some of the uh, vendors you checked out? Um, well, B&H, of course. Um, Stella Pro. Stella's good. And uh, uh, they don't have a booth, but the Westcott stuff uh, at the B&H booth. And just a lot of shooting bays. You like but, the shooting bays? You got some photos? Yeah, it's fun. And is this your first time here? Fourth time, fourth year. Fourth year. So what do you want to say to those who have not come yet? It's a great show. If you like taking pictures of people, you need to be here. You need to be here. And then uh, now outside of, um, are, are there any other conferences that you enjoy coming to that you recommend folks to check out as well as WPPI? Uh, when B&H has something in California, they have the optic show in Monterey. In November, that was good. Um, and I mostly other do, other than that do workshops. And do you uh, now? Are there any camera brands specifically that you that you knew you made a beeline to for your? We're having uh, uh, like B and C cameras got stuff for Sony, and uh, now other than that, I wish Sony was here. Oh, you hear that, Sony? And uh, I have a feeling they're going to be here next year. I'll hope. Because I heard this is much bigger than last year. It, it so was, definitely. I bet they were like, shoot, we should have done it. <laughs> I hope they feel that way. Hope yeah, they're here right. the next year. All right. Now, where can they find you at on Instagram? Uh, Dan Gallander Photography. G-A-L-E-N-D-E-R. Awesome. And uh, let's give a little wave to our Mike's camera family. Hey, Heather, Reza, uh, David, uh, miss you guys.
There you go. Go check them out over at the Dublin store in California. Mike's camera. Thanks, Dan. You bet. I have to give a Bay Area shout out, of course. Sure. You got the note I sent you last night on Synology? Oh, yes. Okay. I'll check it out. If you want, yeah, I'll be happy to talk to you. And if you get one, to help you get it set up. Copy that. Thank you very much. All right. All right. I got to touch more stuff. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Beautiful. Got cheetah lights and stand. Oh, cheetah stands. Let's show you guys. Oh, let's get on over to Lumix real quick, and then I'll show you some photo bays that had some great photography. Uh, opportunities. There we go. Here's B and H. Oh, look at this. Oh, uh, yo, so you're the one who keeps sending people over here. Sorry. Do you know who um, Arcadia is or Gail Makes is? Another picture of that slide. Hey, you know what? Excuse me, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Here we go, we're talking about the, I believe that's the GH6. Pretty awesome. Let's mosey on down. Oh, look at that. 
Nikon is right there. But we're gonna make a left turn. We're gonna make a left turn because they got some dope bag drops that I want you folks to check out. And why is this thing moving like it's on something? Okay. Oh, look at this. Wow, look at this. If you haven't already, press that like button. If you get a bad photo, you wanted to. Here we go. I love that backdrop, damn. All right, let's keep on moving. Take a look here. Look at these creative backdrops, very conceptual. Want me to stand there? And <laughs> ruin your shot? <laughs> you got insurance for that lens. What do you need? No. <laughs> yeah, it's really beautiful. It looks good on my iPhone too. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, shoot. Next time. <laughs> All right. Take a look at this. Nice. And we have Peter Hurley's headshot crew area. Let's just take a look at that, what's going on. few more minutes been live for about an hour and a half and my battery needs to be charged excuse me uh-uh Uh, let's go over by the photo bays and show you all those photography setups. 
that I got to enjoy. And matter of fact, today on Instagram, Robert Silver Photography, I posted some cell phone pics that I took at one of the photo bays. Wow, this thing's jiggling because I have the uh, receiver, DJI Lab receiver attached to this gimbal and it is, it is trying to stay balanced, which I'm quite amazed it's doing all this time. Okay. All right, here we go. Here are the photo bays right here. Okay. Here they're having photo reviews all here. And all of these photo bays are lit with aperture lights and soft boxes, as you can see right up top there. And these are, who, whose backdrops are these? These are, uh, Oh, Elephant Studio Backdrops. Oh, these are nice. I'd love a nice, large canvas backdrop like this. All right, let's see if there's any models in any of these setups. Here's another one. Do they have someone here? No, they do not. Here's another one. Just showing the... Uh, hey! Hey, long time to see Robert. I know, I know. I'm getting dizzy around here. <laughs> Here we go, a photo bay in action. Photo bay in action, folks. And then we have another one right here. There we go. Oh, go for it if you're gonna go. Yeah, no worries, no, no, no worries to edit. Thank you, though. <laughs> nice. Oh, we got more. Got more action. And if you want to take a photo, you just go ahead and wait on this line right here. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. What do we have? Oh, products. Product photography. Very cool. Damn, that's bright. The setup looks beautiful. Wow. Very cool. Man, that's bright. Holy sh. How many, uh, who works here? Uh oh, that's bright. That's crazy. Oh, I love this design. Look at the rug. I'm definitely going to do something like this in the studio. So, whoops, my Fotex. Oh my goodness. Look at Fotex gave me a cool sweater. Look at that right there. And then, whoop, look at that softbox, uh, I mean, not softbox, excuse me, that canvas uh, backdrop. Yeah, I like this design a lot. I like it a lot. Um, I'm definitely getting inspired here. Seeing a lot of good toys, a lot of good things to play with. And, uh, excuse me. 
and uh, definitely you need to come down. Oh, this is for Derek. We got Fuji in the house. Yeah, that's nice. All right. Do a quick run. Oh, shoot. Actually, before we call it quits, we're going to have to come say hi. I'm good. I'm good. Let's talk about the Nikon APS-C lenses we talked about. Yeah, right? Am I... The, or no? Z-mount. Z-mount. Lenses. For full frame? It's... Yeah. Oh, oh, my bad. Okay, maybe I was thinking about some other lenses. Oh, maybe that's what I got confused. All right, well, let's talk about Nikon. Okay. Come on down. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Make this official. Awesome. Yeah, let's pull those down. All right, everybody. So all you Nikon shooters, prepare to draw. Okay, here we go. All right, fantastic. So what do we have here with us today? We have the first lens for Nikon Z by Tamron. It is a 70 to 300. It is a variable aperture lens, but uh, it's 4.5 to 6.3. It is the world's smallest and lightest uh, medium range telephoto lens. Oh my God. Right? Wow. You are alive. 19.2 ounces, and it's uh, 5.8 inches. Dang. So it is lightweight, but don't let that fool you because this lens is sharp. It I mean, sharp. it is sharp, uh, surprisingly. What's the, what's the filter thread? Uh, you're looking at 67 millimeters. Oh, Kind of, sort of, has become the standard for Tamron. Oh, okay, okay. 67? Kind of, sort of, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. a lot in the back. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Now, what kind of shooters should be looking at this? Well, I would say um, someone who is into photography but is looking to... Uh, start shooting something like sports or wildlife. They need a little longer range. Okay. Uh, this is probably the lens they would, you know, start with. It doesn't break the bank, first of all, and you don't have to carry, you know, uh, a big, heavy lens with you. So. And what is the MSRP on this one? Uh, I believe you're looking at around uh, seven hundred dollars or so. Yeah. I can get you the exact wow, price though. Exactly. That's fantastic. But you said it's seven three hundred. Yeah. For under $800, that is crazy. And one interesting thing you'll find is if I keep rotating it, see that little thing here? That yep. is a uh, USB-C port. So now the end user can custom, uh, can uh, do the firmware updates themselves. Oh, you don't need a mount or, or one of those uh, adapter things? Right. right, directly from your computer. Wow. Yeah. That is phenomenal, folks. Yeah. That's right. They're making it easier for you to stay in the game as a photographer. I have to hold this again. That that was nuts. Oh my God, that's crazy. That's crazy. What's up, Mr. Carl? Hey, how are you? <laughs> wow. You know what? That was awesome coming in see you at the show. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. We were just talking. I was talking to somebody about that uh, Best Buy event. I was like, I had a great time. <laughs> I was like a, I was like a seal in the pool. I met this guy, you know, in in in, in was it uh, California? No, in Florida. No, 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 no uh, Arizona. Arizona, and like we, it's in the same neighborhood. Yeah, amazing. I met two earlier at a seminar. Four people from Long Island. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah, I was like, yeah. wow, that's crazy. They're all out of here. We're literally the same town. You know, we live. I live in Florida. Oh, uh, so he's like, Florida, <laughs> me, Brookwood Village. Well, now it's called something else. Whatever. Yeah. But uh, Town of Brookhaven. Yeah, Town of Brookhaven. I just met someone here. He, he works for the Town of Brookhaven. He just left. He's a oh, photographer. Right? Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah. He's from Rocky Point, but he's like, yeah, oh. he works for the Town of Brookhaven. Yeah, it's a small world, man. Yeah. Especially like meeting people on the West Coast that are rub your little 
area. Right. When you say quorum, who the hell moved right, to like, Long Island? I never heard of it. Yeah. yeah, they may have heard of... Uh, you know, people just say Long Island. I'm from Long Island. Right. right. When, when he's like, where are you from? I'm like, quorum. He's like, then he knew. He's like, yeah, what? definitely. Longwood Lion? What? No. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so very much. Right, is there any other uh, plans for Cameron and Nikon? Well, I would have to say, sure. What they are, I don't know. I'm at the, you know, Combat. bottom of the okay. of the list here, so I'm the last to find out. So I literally find out at 11 p.m. before you find out the next day. So that's when I. However, this is the first one. But I can bet that you know that the rent that uh, is not going to be the last. Fantastic. Well, you know what? We're excited that this is even available for us uh, Nikon shooters uh, because uh, you know sometimes you know we got we, we want quality, but we don't want to break the bank. Yes. Does that make sense? Sure. So thank you, Tamron, for helping us make sure we don't go broke. Thank you very much. Hey, and oh, can you tell people if they aren't already? Tamron on Instagram. They can follow Tamron as uh, Tech Tamron Tech Team on Instagram awesome. and Facebook. And I'll be posting all of that down below. So go ahead and check that out later, folks. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's super fun. Now, I don't know if you want to, I didn't mention it, but there is a third party adapter to allow you to use all the email on the CDC. Well, let's go ahead and mention just that. That's a, yeah, again, yeah. That's a, oh, let me, oh let me we get just it. got some info I did not know about. Let, let me get it for you. Copy that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Put that on. Here. Okay. I'll clear it up, but let me grab it. Yeah. Oh, so sorry. You got your combo there? Pardon? You got your combo set? Bottom. Oh, here we go. Most of the time. <laughs> All right. Now you, you 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 were just telling me some juicy info. What was it? Well, you know, surprisingly, there are ways that you can adapt lenses to other cameras, as we all know. The one interesting thing is that Nikon actually makes the shortest flange distance uh, of all mirrorless oh, really? cameras. Yes, 16 millimeters. So if there's a camera mount that is thicker, uh, you can actually somehow adapt those lenses onto the Nikon. So let's take, for example, Sony. You've all seen this lens already. Oh, There's yes, a big buzz about it. The yeah. 35 to 150. Gets what it's mounted on. Ah, uh, yes. What? Exactly. Because Sony's flange back distance is 18 millimeters. Nikon is 16. There is an adapter that you can mount on it that will put those two millimeters back into That's the equation. Nice. Oh, right here. Huh? There it is. Right there, folks. Take a look. Take a look. So That's now, awesome. all the Sony email lenses that Tamron manufactures can be mounted on your Nikon Z. Now, does it work? Like, how's the autofocus and so forth, the communication? I've not seen any issues with it, and I've been using it for a few months. So awesome. I'm pretty impressed with it. So that just opens the lineup even more. Absolutely. Nikon oh, Absolutely. That's awesome. All right. Well, see, this is why you folks, if you haven't, you need to come to WPPI. And when you do, check out Tamron. I already know they're going to be here next year. Thank you again. That was awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate oh, it. Oh, yeah, my pleasure. That was good news. That's what I want to share. So. And you can put on their Mega Depth. That's the name of the company that makes it. Mega Depth? Mega Depth. Okay. Yeah. Is, is that company mentioned on the website at all or no i think we mentioned it. yeah that looks awesome I mean, it's just, it's just that's actually kind of ingenious to open up an entire line without having to make more yeah yeah hey, thank you very much have a good day all right touch 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 today that's what we're gonna do we're gonna touch touch and more touch look at all this stuff here whoops now, 
We've been touching for two hours. We gotta call it quits, folks. My hands getting tired and uh, I'm about done with touching, okay? Let's go ahead. All right. Okay, so here we are, uh, my last day at WPPI. And uh, I'm gonna have to say it was an awesome success. I met so many amazing people. I will be going live when I get back. I'm gonna go live uh, next week because I won't be back at home until Monday. But when I do, we're gonna have a recap about WPPI and why you should go, why new photographers should go, hey, and, and why um, even seasoned photographers should come. This is a great learning experience as well as a great uh, um, networking experience for business-wise. I've made so many great connections, made new introductions to new people that hopefully will help me get to my next level. So, with all that said, um, if you haven't already, make sure you do hit that like button on the way out, smash that share, and of course subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notifications of upcoming videos. I'm Robert Silver, and until next time, keep shooting, stay creative. Thank you for watching.